Okay, so here we are. We have one of uh, Bo's chickens here in the restaurant, We've gone through the entire processing portion of it. Now we're gonna take the whole chicken and break it down into its parts. One thing that uh, a lot of times you go in the grocery store and you see the boneless, skinless chicken breasts, well, it's a lot more economical to take a whole chicken and break it down into everything that you need. And we're gonna go through first this butchering process and then in subsequent videos, we'll show you what to do with the chicken breasts, what to do with the wings, legs, thighs, and also the carcass. So starting right now, Scott's going to take the wing tips off. So you're just making cuts on either side of the joint, pulling them off. Next we're going to go to the breast, find the middle, just finding the middle bone there, going on the right side of it. And basically he's just going to peel that off, following the breastbone down. And one thing that you'll notice about this chicken when we zoom in, it's, it's an amazing bird and we really couldn't be happier with the, the results that we've gotten from this milk fed chicken. Great size, uh, great texture once it's cooked. So you see one breast is off, skin intact. Now we find that middle area cut on the other side of it again and just do the exact same thing on the other side. Nice thing about an animal like a chicken and actually most of the animals we work with, they're mirror images from side to side. So what you do on one side, you're going to do on the other. Okay, so he's just peeled that second breast off skin intact. Great. Now we'll go in and pull the wings off. Wings from these particular chickens are delicious. We uh, actually had them for lunch. Deep fried, a little bit of hot sauce. One of the advantages of having a, a butchering day. So very quickly those wings came off. Now we're going to move towards the back of the carcass and we're going to take off the leg and the, the thigh. So you see right now what he's doing is actually uh, breaking the joint and he's going to go in and around making sure to get the oyster and just coming right along the back side of the, the animal. Same thing on the other side, again just a mirror image of what we've done previously. And that's off. Now we have the carcass left which we could use for stock. Um, a lot of times we'll break the carcass in half, pull the cage uh, off just to make it uh, a little easier to go in the stock pot. And also if you're going to freeze it, makes it a little, you know, a little smaller, easier to work with. So now we have the leg and the thigh together. And what we'll do is find the, the ball and socket joint in between the, the leg and thigh, make a nice smooth cut in, find that joint, open it up, and we have the leg now and the thigh separate. So we do that on the other side, the mirror side. Perfect. Now we have our four pieces of the chicken. We'll also pull out the two breasts to make six. And then seven and eight will be the wings. So you have a traditional eight piece chicken with the carcass fully broken down.